Hi everyone and thanks for joining me here today on my channel. Today we're going to be making a simple pine needle distillation. So in this bowl over here, this is the this is the way I picked it and that's the northern white pine. And I took most of the sticks off and then just put those in the compost. And I measured out approximately 250 grams of the pine needles. So over here you can see that I have a pot of water that just boiled. I turned it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put this plant matter here, the pine needles, right into the boiled water. Okay, so I guess I can push it. I don't really want to push it with my fingers. Um, okay, so it's in there, and I'm going to mash it down in a minute with uh, just a spoon, a big spoon or something. And I'm going to let that sit for about an hour. I feel like the pine needles, as opposed to regular leaves, could use a little bit of softening. And so for about... An hour I'm gonna let it sit it's not gonna be on it's boiled already it'll slowly cool and then we're gonna we're gonna heat it back up and we're gonna do the distillation okay so we're back and it's been significantly less than an hour I think we're good to go and what I'm gonna do here is just put a platform inside of the pot this is a canning pot you can use any pot really but you probably don't want to place your collecting bowl directly, this is the collecting bowl we're going to use here, we're going to put that inside. You, you don't want to place that directly on the plant matter or on the bottom of the pot. So um, if you don't have something like that, there's some pretty good hacks you can check out on YouTube. So here we have it. So the water is boiling and what we're going to do now is we're going to put the lid we're going to put that on, but we're going to put it on upside down here. Okay? And what we've got is some bags of ice and we're going to start right away. This is just a bag that used to have some oatmeal in it. And the reason that I'm doing this is, for, well, there's two reasons that I'm doing it. First of all, for the purposes of distillation. When the water boils and turns to vapor, it's going to hit the bottom of the lid inside and come into contact with cold water cold like a cold mass this cold ice what happens is that then it turns again from vapor into liquid and falls into the collecting bowl but this time it falls into the collecting bowl with all of the essential oils and other components of the plant matter so we we don't have a hose or anything we can't we can't we can't drain this and if this melts and it will and we need to put more ice on it then what's going to happen is that it's 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 going to be it, we're going to have to like scoop it out. So this way we can just lift it off and put in another bag. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. And um, here you can see that actually, well, you can't see, but there is a hole in this bag, unfortunately. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift this off. I'm going to put another bag on it. I'm going to keep rotating different bags of ice until, um, well, we'll see, until all of the ice is melted. And I think it should take approximately 20 minutes or so. So I'll be back and uh, then we can take the lid off and we can see what's collected in the bowl. So I had a little bit of difficulty with the bags <laughs> and decided to switch over to um, what I did here was I froze some ice in a bowl, like one of these heat proof and cold proof bowls. And so um, this seems to be working out a lot more nicely. I've got a couple of other bowls as well that I froze. Um, here's one, it's just like a regular cereal bowl kind of thing. And um, here's also a thicker container. So this might be a better idea than using bags. And uh, yeah, you live and you learn. So I'm just gonna let this continue on and we'll be back. So I'm back, it's been about another 10 minutes and Another valuable lesson learned, the container, this one here, was actually um, really hot on the bottom, but 
the actual ice wasn't really melting and the the water that was inside of the lid here was quite warm so I just dumped it in you can see here there's a big chunk of ice it's really lasting and when I feel the water it's actually quite cool and so I'm just moving it around and what I'm doing is I'm actually just going ahead and scooping out the water as I go and pouring it into a bowl. Now, it doesn't seem very efficient. It's not, in fact. And in doing this video, it looks like I'm probably going to try and do another setup with some type of pump that uh, once the ice is melt, starting to melt in the top, I can have some kind of a, a thin tube, perhaps, and it pumps into the sink or into another bowl, and then we can keep adding ice to the top of it. So um, I'm just going to let this keep going, and we'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. It's been about a half an hour since I turned the elements off. Oh, look at that. There's our distillate right there. Great. So it looks like we got a pretty good yield. That's about... That's about three quarters of the bowl. I'm going to let it, yeah, it's still a little bit hot. I'm going to let it cool for a bit, and then we're going to uh, decant that into the bottle. Okay, so we've got it in there. We've got about a quarter of a bottle. So it's 160 ounces. And so that's 80, it's about 40, it's about 50, 50 ounces, which is great. We can use that in so many different creations. I did a pine, dis pardon me, I did a cedar distillate a couple weeks back in here in this nice little jar. And I made a beautiful patchouli deodorant soap with cedar in it, and it was wonderful. So you can, you can make soap, you can make a deodorant if you want. Um, you can do a room spray, that would be nice. You can make a liquid soap and make a hand soap out of it. And uh, what I want to try and do, and I hope I can get back to you guys with this, is uh, a video on doing a soap with eucalyptus and pine together. And that'll be really, really good in the summer for the bugs because I don't know where I saw the study, but there is a scientific study. Maybe I'll post it if I can find it. And uh, it shows that eucalyptus is basically the only natural ingredient that will deter bugs in the summer. Plus, it smells amazing. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to cap. I'm not going to cap this off. I'm going to leave it at this because you can see there's some more, um, there's some condensation. I wonder if I should. I'm going to leave the cap off for a little while. I'm going to let it breathe. I'm going to put the cap on. And then I can store this for further future use. So if you like the video, please uh, like it and also subscribe to my channel. And I hope to be posting new videos soon. Thanks for watching.